Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera. Today's video, you will be learning about the properties of histogram. Understanding these properties will be useful in our next lesson, construction of histogram. Okay, let us begin. What is a histogram? By definition, a histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution. It displays the number of data points which lie within a specific range of values. Firstly, Let's take a look at the parts of a histogram. We have the title. The title describes the information included in the histogram. Next, the x-axis. It shows the values of the measurement. Here, the measurement is the height of buildings in feet. The y-axis shows the frequency and lastly, the bars represents the number of times that the values occurred within the interval sets. Let us go into detail about the properties of the parts of the histogram. Here, we have a histogram where all the class intervals are of the same size and it is commonly known as histogram with equal class size. The first property, each bar represents a class interval. For example, the red bar here represents the number of people whose marks are in the class interval of 5 to 10 marks. The second property, the width of each bar is proportional to its class size. Here, all the class intervals are of size 5 marks. Next, the area of each bar is proportional to its frequency. It is the area of the bar that indicates the frequency for each class interval. In other words, the product of the height with the width of the bar indicates the frequency. This means that the height of the bar does not necessarily indicate the frequency. But for this histogram, since all the class intervals are of the same size, it has been a common practice to accept the height of every bar to be the frequency of each class interval. Next, there is no gap between the bars. This is because a histogram represents a continuous data set. And in this example, the empty space in between the two bars means that the class has zero frequency. Lastly, the tallest bar in the histogram represents the model class. For this histogram, notice that two of the class intervals are of different sizes. That is, the first class interval and the last class interval. The first and the last class intervals are of size 40 cm and 60 cm respectively. So for this histogram, it is also known as histogram with unequal class size. Hence, to determine the frequency of these two class intervals, we have to find the area of these two bars. 
for the first bar, the height of the bar which is 5, multiply by the width of the bar which is 2 units. Therefore, the area is 10. So the frequency of this class interval is 10 rows of satin ribbons. For the last bar, the height of the bar is 10. Multiply by the width of the bar which is 3 units. Therefore, the area is 30. So the frequency of this class interval is 30 rows of ribbons. As a conclusion, the frequency of the histograms are based on areas of the bars, not height of the bars. That's about all for today. For the next lesson video, we will be doing constructing histograms. Lastly, do not forget to press the subscribe button and press like. Thank you.